Most people who stumble across my channel get here because they're searching for two things, Canva tutorials and Flowdesk tutorials. I love Flowdesk and in this video, I am going to walk you through the top mistakes that beginners make when switching to this platform. If you've never heard of Flowdesk, it is an incredible brand new email marketing software that helps you create beautiful emails and they do not charge you more each month as your list grows. So if you want to try it for free and lock in to the beta rate of 50% off, make sure that you click on the link in my description. Without further ado, Let's hop in. Hi, I'm LaShonda, founder of About 90 Marketing and host of the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. On this channel, you will find weekly videos, there'll be app reviews, tutorials, or biz advice to help you to take your business to the next level. By trade, I am a Squarespace Circle member and I create beautiful Squarespace websites for small businesses and nonprofits looking to present themselves in a professional way online in 90 days or less. On this channel, I like to give away something free each single week to people who participate in the comments. I call it the bootstrap chat question of the week. And there is someone who has been watching my videos since I started showing my face and commenting on every single video. So last week I asked you if you were to create an ebook, what would you name it? And the winner of the chat question is my dear friend Kayla Hollitz. Now Kayla just got engaged. That has nothing to do with this video. I'm just super excited about it and I know she's gonna see this. But Kayla also loves Flowdesk just as much as I do. She is actually a professional copywriter and she has had the opportunity to take over Flowdesk's Instagram account to talk about copywriting for emails. So what we're going to do is not only are we going to give Kayla the $20 in Canva credit, I want you guys to put questions for Kayla in the comments because hopefully I can twist her arm a little bit and get her on the channel to talk about copywriting for emails. So if you have the opportunity to ask a professional anything about email marketing, and we're talking about the words, let me know in the comments. We'll try to get a video recorded and post that very soon. One of the top questions that I get about Flowdesk is, is it easy to use? Now, I would say easy in comparison to what? Um, I know a lot of people who get started with email marketing and have no previous experience. Other people are coming from MailChimp or Constant Contact or ConvertKit. What I will say about Flowdesk is, it definitely is easy to use. However, there still are some mistakes that people make when they switch to this platform. Now, if you are a Squarespace website user, one of the mistakes that even I made when I switched over to Flowdesk is I had something clicked on the back end of my Squarespace site that kept my form from showing up. So here's a couple dynamics that I want you to take into account when you are using Flowdesk on a Squarespace website. There are two things that you can do. Number one is you can use a Squarespace newsletter form and you can connect it to Flowdesk using a Zap. If you've heard of the website Zapier, Zapier is a website that helps applications talk to each other. So if you want Squarespace to talk to Flowdesk, you can create a Zap that connects the two. So even though Flowdesk isn't an option under a newsletter form, you can make it happen by creating a Zap. So that's a simple and easy way to do it. However, you can also embed the code from Flowdesk on your Squarespace site. If you do that and you have Ajax loading checked, your form may disappear from time to time. Now, I remember when I first got started with Flowdesk, I did not know this was a thing, and I remember freaking out because I put my opt-in on my homepage, and sometimes when I went to my website, the form just wasn't there. I unchecked Ajax loading, no problem. So again, you have two ways to embed a form using Squarespace and Flowdesk. You can create a Zap in Zapier so that Squarespace talks to Flowdesk, 
or you can copy the code and make sure that you don't have Ajax loading selected. Number two is workflows. Now, if you're used to using a site like ConvertKit, you understand the concept of a sequence. When this happens, I want this to happen a day later, and a day later, I want this to happen. And you can change the times in between, but that is called a sequence in ConvertKit, and Flowdesk calls them workflows. Now, I create workflows to deliver my free content. If someone is downloading free pictures from Eye for Ebony, I wanna follow up, deliver the photos, and then I want to educate them on what Eye for Ebony does. And typically, the money that I make within my business does not happen because of the free photos, it happens because of those follow-up emails. Workflows are the way that you automate follow-ups. So if you are a solopreneur and you don't have time to manually email the people who sign up for your newsletter or sign up for your freebie, this is a great way to do it. You can create a workflow to help people sign up for a webinar. If you wanna tell them, you know, don't forget webinars tomorrow. Don't forget webinar starts in 10 minutes. Webinar is live. A workflow would automatically deliver those emails so that you don't have to go in and schedule a broadcast or a new email. Here's the thing though, as soon as you go in to edit a workflow, you unpublish said workflow. So if you decide to tweak the email, if you decide to tweak the delays in between them, if you do not hit publish, you've turned your workflow off and anybody who signs up through that form is not gonna go through the workflow. I've done it, we've probably all done it, but I want to tell you this so that you can be more specific when you edit your workflows to make sure that you hit that publish button and you don't lose people in the process of making updates. So again, your workflow is how you automate your emails, but make sure if you make changes that you republish your workflow. One of the things that people care about when they look at email marketing in their business is will my email actually get to my customers? We know that Google does whatever it wants to do and sometimes it takes your email and it scoops it up and it drops it in the promotions tab, or it scoops it up and it drops it into spam. But on those beautiful days, sometimes your email actually makes it to the people you're trying to send it to. And one of the things that you can do to increase your delivery rate is to verify your domain. What I mean by that, I hope you have a professional email. For instance, mine is hello at about90marketing.com. So the reality is not only do I own that email address, but I own the domain at the end of it. And by going into my domain settings and adding in a few records, I let Flowdesk know that I indeed own this domain. When you do that, it will help your emails to actually land in the inbox of the people you're trying to reach out to. Now, again, there is no guarantee that it will always end up in the right place. However, it will increase your chances if you take the time to verify your domain. You can still email without doing this, but like I said, if you care about delivery rate, it will help your chances of actually landing in your customer's inbox. Flowdesk is an extremely popular platform within the creative professional community. And one of the mistakes that I see beginners making all the time is they take a Flowdesk template and they barely modify it before they hit send. Remember, Flowdesk is an email builder. It is not an email assistant. What I mean by that is what you get from Flowdesk isn't the be all end all. You need to add your own brand colors. You need to add your own images. You need to change the fonts to match your branding because what's going to keep happening is your competitors or even people in like-minded businesses are going to be emailing the same people and your emails will not stand out if you don't take the time to customize it. Now you can upload your brand colors into Flowdesk which makes it a whole lot easier for you to be consistent with that. 
You can also duplicate past emails to make sure that things stay visually consistent within your own branding. But those templates are a starting point. Please do not just take a template, change the text, and send it out because what's gonna happen is there are a lot of people doing that and you're going to decrease your conversion rate by not taking the time to make it your own. Flowdesk makes it super easy. You can drag and drop different areas within a template to expand on what they provide you. So you can go beyond what you see when you open that template up. But please, please, please do not just select the template, change the text and hit send. Make it your own and you will increase your conversion rate on your Flowdesk emails. The last thing that I want to tell you guys is do not forget to promote your affiliate link. I will be completely frank and honest with you. My partnership with Flowdesk is one of my top producing affiliate partnerships. They make it so easy. Once you create your own Flowdesk account, you will receive your own link within Flowdesk. You can copy that and you can put it in a blog post. You can copy it and send it out to your list. Also, if you look at the bottom of your Flowdesk emails, when people click on made with love and Flowdesk, it sends them to Flowdesk using your affiliate link. So friends, you may not want to turn that off. That's a super easy way for you to promote Flowdesk and generate some passive income. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Like I said, I actually use Flowdesk in my business. I use it as a way to stay in contact with my bootstrap VIPs. My VIP vault is my epic resource library that's filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free. So when you go to my website, LaShondaBrown.com, and you click on the banner at the top, it will take you to a Flowdesk form. As soon as you put in your name and email address, Flowdesk will send you an email with the password, which will let you into my vault absolutely free. Now, again, if you want to try this platform absolutely free, click on the link in my description and you will lock in to the beta rate of $19 a month should you choose to stick with it. So if you have another app that you would like for me to review, feel free to let me know in the comments. Remember, I'm also trying to get Kayla on the channel to talk about copywriting for email marketing. So if you have a question for her, be sure to drop that in the comments as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.